So it's Conservation Week, and the theme this year is Healthy Nature, Healthy People. So we sent our travel writer, Debbie Griffiths, to see how we could be all making a difference to our environment and also to our health. Research shows that exposure to nature helps reduce stress and helps to recharge as well. So a day tree planting on Auckland's Motutapu Island, just what the doctor ordered. We're a mixed bunch of volunteers. Belinda shows us the ropes. She's been helping restore the island since 2002. You get hooked on uh, being part of an amazing project, being hooked on believing that you can make a difference, on seeing that you can make a difference. In 14 years, uh, this landscape has changed and that's really satisfying. Volunteers do a huge amount in New Zealand for conservation. We couldn't do it without them and they give back a huge amount to New Zealand, to our native flora and fauna. They're out there every weekend doing amazing work and basically they're the key to conservation. For most volunteers, it's a chance to escape the hustle and bustle of everyday life. I just find it quite relaxing. School can be a bit sort of demanding now and then with all the assignments. So coming out here just to maybe sometimes chuck my music in my ears, have a little play around, it's just nice and relaxing. These days you don't do nearly enough as a family, so it's lovely to have time. You know, there's the trip out and get a picnic and help, just help with uh, something that's, you know, doing a little bit for conservation and for the museum in the future too. I really like all the helping, helping the animals and um, I really like that it's doing something good for the environment because trees help people breathe. You know, we've been going for over 20 years now, so we've got people who, can, who planted 20 years ago and come out and can see um, the trees that are well over head height now. They're big trees now. So you've got the next generation coming back as adults? Absolutely. And bringing their own children? Yes, yes. yes. That's cool. And we have a huge range of volunteers. We have the, the, the five-year-olds and we have the 85-year-olds. There is something for everyone to do in restoration. And those who keep coming back are improving their health as well as that of the environment. There's lots of studies out there that, that show that getting out into nature, getting away from concrete, getting out of the city, even just going down to your local park is going to have a really big impact on how you feel and, and feeling better and being happier. So basically it's, it's healthy nature, healthy people. Conservation Week is also a great time to discover something new in nature. Head out on an Auckland whale and dolphin safari. Well usually you'll see common dolphins, short beak common dolphins. Um, there's quite a lot of those living in the Gulf. Um, you'll probably also see uh, um, bottlenose dolphins. They're the really big plain grey dolphin. Uh, they're more common the further out in the Gulf that you get, um, particularly up towards the Omaha Way and around Great Barrier and Little Barrier. And uh, you'll probably also see brooders whales. Um, they're a large baleen whale, they filter feeder, they feed on krill and small fish out in the Gulf. Really spectacular animal to see up close. In fact, the Hauraki Gulf is just one of a few places in the world with a resident population of brooders whales. I, th I think a lot of people don't really appreciate how much life there is out in the Hauraki Gulf and uh, particularly what sort of, uh, sort of wildlife that you can see out there. You don't really associate a large urban centre like this with big wild animals and, and there's quite a lot of them and they do come right into the harbour at times. It's conservation week and any time. Any day really, get out there and really enjoy nature, particularly the sea, and it's got a lot to offer. And in places like the Hauraki Gulf, there's a great diversity of things to see and do out there. You know, another great thing about Motutapu Island as well is that if you're a school child in the Auckland area, you've probably been there for a school camp. I've been there for camps and my kids are going there for camps now. It's awesome. Thanks to the volunteers from the Motutapu Restoration Trust for hosting Debbie and also Auckland Whale and Dolphin Safari has an open day at the viaduct this Saturday. So you can chat to the crew, the researchers and Doc about the work the vessel does in the Hauraki Gulf.